this is Tamara from Tea Tasty Bits and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to make empanadas de viento. Now viento means wind or airy in English and these empanadas are soft and flaky and airy thanks to butter and salsa water. Now these empanadas are probably not the healthiest ones to eat on a daily basis but they're one of my favorite Ecuadorian street foods. The filling is just cheese and once they're deep fried they're sprinkled with a generous amount of granulated sugar for the ultimate combination of sweet and savory. This recipe yielded me 10 empanadas, so invite your amigos over and let's get started. In order to make our empanadas, we are going to need the following ingredients. Some regular all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, unsalted butter, and sparkling seltzer water. For the filling, all we're going to use some crumbled cheese known as queso fresco. Should you not have queso fresco, you could probably substitute with a mozzarella or a Monterey Jack cheese, just some cheese that melts pretty easily. In a large bowl, combine the flour with the salt and mix this with your hands. Then add the cold cube stick of butter to the flour mixture. Work this mixture with your hands by squeezing the flour and the butter together. Since the butter is cold, it's going to take a little bit of work. What you want to achieve is a mealy consistency to the dough at the beginning. Think of it as making a crumbled pie topping. In Ecuador, we call this consistency morocho partido. Now we are ready to add the seltzer water. So add this to your mixture and continue to knead. As you can see at first the dough is going to be very sticky. But just keep working the dough and we will add a little bit of more flour to correct this stickiness. Now let's add a little bit of extra flour to this dough to get rid of the stickiness. When I began making the empanadas, I started with one cup of flour. But as I began to notice that the dough was still too sticky, I ended up adding an extra third cup of flour. Now, I like to do it in increments because it could be possible that in your case, you may not end up using the full third cup. So I like to add it little by little and work the dough as I go just to make sure that I don't get a dough that's too dry. So continue to knead in total for about 10 minutes until you achieve a smooth, supple dough ball, like this. Now let it rest for 10 minutes. Now divvy up your dough into 10 golf-sized balls. Sprinkle your countertop with flour, as well as your rolling pin, and begin rolling out each ball onto discs that are about 5 inches in diameter. Place a little bit of crumbled queso fresco towards the center of the disc and fold the edges over forming a half moon. Now make sure you pinch those edges together to ensure that the filling stays inside. Otherwise, it'll come out in the frying process and it'll splatter all over you. Now we're gonna make the rope edge that these empanadas are known for. In Spanish, we call this repulgar. And what you do is you pull and you fold over. You pull and you fold over. You repeat this process all around the empanada. It takes a little bit of practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see by the fourth one, I think I got the hang of it. Now place your empanada with the folded edge down in hot oil. Your oil should be at 375 degrees. As you can see, this process doesn't take very long. So keep an eye on your empanadas. Flip them over to ensure that the oil hits every single part of the empanada. It'll turn golden brown and it'll bubble a little bit on the surface. Once your empanadas are golden brown, remove them from the hot oil and place them on some paper towels to sop up the extra grease. Immediately sprinkle them with a generous amount of granulated sugar and do it on both sides so that each bite has some delicious sweetness to it. Since the empanada is hot, the sugar will stick to it. And that's it. And there you have them, empanadas de viento, sweet and cheesy. Buen provecho.